three kinds of business. What's that about? When I first heard Byron Katie talking about this, um, the very first time I heard anything from her at all, I knew she was on to something. My business, what I say, think, do, and feel is my business. What you say, think, do, and feel is your business. And all the rest is God's business, including what both of us do and say. You'll start to find that in some ways you're in charge and in other ways you're not. In other ways, the way you are, even what I'm saying right now, I'm not thinking through each little part of how I move my mouth and how things show up and what comes out. And the same with there's so many things in life. In fact, if we were in charge of our own business completely, none of us would ever be in pain. We'd be happy all the time. So there's something much bigger going on where all of it coming together is what I would refer to as God's business. And yet how I feel, how I react, what I say, think, and do is my business. And when I keep the focus on that, keep the video camera on myself, instead of being over there in your business and believing that you need to change before I can be happy, things go pretty well. And when I am over in another's business or meddling in God's business in the all that is greater than me, things don't go very well. And so the ability to go in and question the thinking that says, I need you to be different than you are. I need it to not rain today. I need myself to show up any differently than I did. It's all in some ways God's business. And when we're, our monkey minds would like to, you know, give us the illusion of control. They want us to think they're in charge, which is why they're over in what we would call God's business so much of the time. But when you come home to yourself, I mean, for me, so much health and energy and focus was restored. In fact, hopefulness, because it's like we're telling these littlest parts of us when we're in someone else's business and we're, we're just all focused on them and we're believing what they say, think, do, or how they react to us is everything. And, and we really need them to show up differently so that we'll know we're okay and that we're safe and that we're loved and that we can accomplish our goals. Well, that's like telling these littlest parts of us that, you know, okay, we're not gonna be okay unless they, and yet the littlest parts of us, well, all of us, our intellect, our logic knows that we're not in charge of how they show up. We're not in charge of how it all shows up. We're not even that much in charge of how we show up. So when we start meddling in that, we're going to be suffering. We're going to be in pain. When we start creating those conditions and when we let go of them, we move into an unconditional connection to self, others, and life. It, I'm Sean Mashey and I did end up becoming certified under Byron Katie in the work, a six-year process that changed my life and yet my life was changed the moment I got these and a number of other concepts and I've developed a body of work around the symmetry in that paradigm shift especially in the shift of being able to be kinder to myself and turn these thoughts around so much has let go I was chronically ill. I was just coming out of a bad divorce. I was financially in trouble. So many things have cleared themselves up as a result of coming out of others' business, coming back into the business of the moment, trusting what shows up. And when my reaction to it feels painful, that's my work. That's life shepherding me exactly where I need to go next. I just didn't know what to do with it before. And now that I understand about the symmetry inherent in whatever upsets us, and I teach that to other people, it's phenomenal to watch life stepping up and supporting me. Take care and let this just be there with you, just this concept of the, the three kinds of business. Keep asking yourself when you're upset, whose business am I in? 
Have I left myself? Have I abandoned myself and gone in there? Let's take out the middleman. And you can learn more about how to do this by coming to a Radical Relationship Relief Workshop. Sign up for it's kind of a mini course where I'm just gonna walk you through the steps so that you'll know how to come back out of your own or come back out of others' business and really find peace and freedom and unconditional connection. Take care. See you soon.